Hi guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2020 video. Today we're going to take a little bit of a sad but positive look at the 314. These are all going out of service now and uh, Mr Wilson, so C Wilson 4747, I think it's his name is, has done the scenario and he's written a lovely bit on the website and I'll have a read of that while we're driving along but I'll get the scenario started and then we'll go into that little bit. It is on the Glasgow Airport Rail Link. Please do remember this was literally the first, I think one of the first uh, third party routes for uh, Train Simulator back in the day. So it is not the most up-to-date or brilliant route, but it is what it is. And for the age of it, it ain't bad. Uh, Thompson's first route, if I remember rightly. Uh, they were called Totalized Media at the time. Right. Good morning, driver. Please set the train, open the doors, and prepare for departure at 0800. You'll be calling here at Paisley's James, Paisley Gilmore Street, Hillington, West Hillington East, uh, Hillington East, Cardinal and Glasgow Central. Your head coach is 2 0 8 and you're starting to at 6.10. Okay, I haven't driven this for ages. A long, long time. Uh, we want headlights and marker lights. I've got everything else on. Let's get rid of you. Get my doors open. Let's turn you off from beeping, please. Start you up. It was two golf. Zero eight, and what was it? One sixty. Six ten. Six one zero. Brip, brip. slow. Right, let's get our doors closed and get moving. So the blow for this, I have to read this, it did make me sort of not choke up, but it, it did make me think of it. So it says, with the withdrawal of the Class 314 stalwarts fast approaching in December 2019, a staple of Glasgow Central will be about to depart the Scottish tracks. For its regular commuters, it will mean an end to the traditional sound of Central of a 314 squeaky brakes as they approach the buffers and the sound of traction motors pulling away from the station heading off for one of Glasgow's many suburbs. The withdrawal of the Class 314 and Inverclyde has been full flow for a wee while, with the Class 314 diagrams being replaced by 318, 320s and 385s, as well as diagrams served by the former 314, 314's former Inverclyde partner, the 380s. With the 314s now only operating three Inverclyde services per day, in all at the start of the morning peak, so they only do the morning peaks now, which is something I didn't know. I didn't even see one, I was in Weems Bay on holiday a little while ago and I didn't even see one. So today you will drive the final leg of the last 314 Inverclyde diagram of the day, the 0728 service from Gorak to Glasgow Central. You will pick up the service at Paisley St James and travel to Glasgow Central, call it Paisley Gilmore Street, Hillington West, Hillington East, Cardonald and Glasgow Central. Please be aware you'll be held outside Central for a couple of minutes to allow AI traffic move. So it's kind of... It's kind of nice. They've now, I think this was changed. I'm sure this had a bit about heat and that was it. For its regular minutes, it will mean no more. It will mean no more automatic doors opening in the middle of winter, an end to no heating, toilets or Wi-Fi. But for enthusiasts, it will mean end to this traditional sound in central of a squeaky of a three on four squeaky brakes. I thought that was really nice, really nice little words because as much as new stock needs to come and everything like that, there is character in these older units that that if you've grown up with them you're sort of used to them and that's going to be missed 
without a doubt that's going to be missed uh, by some but yeah for commuters having the doors open when they don't need to not having working heating and air conditioning and lack of toilets and wi-fi and things it, it'll, there'll be a very worthy replacements the 385s 320s that sort of thing it's yeah, just a bit sad but change has to happen i can hear a 380 <laughs> And of course, when we're talking about old school stuff, the 380 was, of course, one of the, the OGs of Real Sim DLC as well. Fair old stop there. Slippy there. Let's go for notch two. The Inverclyde line, so um, out to Weems Bay, Gurup, that sort of way, is, is a route I would love to see in Train Sim. Um, having recently been out that part of the world with, with some beautiful scenery. It's not particularly brilliant interest of running wise, I mean, it's the, the basic EMUs, but it's a very pretty route. Six. Nice. Now we're quite slippy, so I don't want wheel slide kicking in, so let's be a bit early on my brakes here. Not that I don't know if this thing has wheel slide. Do we get wheel slide? Yes, we get wheel slide. That answered that pretty quickly, didn't it? I think we'll just ignore stop car markers for today because I should have braked earlier considering I was braking earlier on. Ah! A lack of concentration. Super naughty, by the way. I 
super duper naughty. Transformer hum, the compressor rumble. And the fact that you, these units sitting in any of the... Um, well, as long as you're not in the pantograph coach. A lot of the time they're completely silent. Because there's no aircon, you don't even get a hum or uh, anything like that. So as you can guess, I've got a lot, a lot of love for a pep unit. So it was 313s, 314s, 315s. And it was the prototypes as well. I think there were four, five, four, four, fives, I think. Taking it very easy, just due to the, the slipping. Nothing to do with my bad driving at all. I think it was a 314 and 315 pack. did suffer from 64-bit upgrades. There were some bits and pieces that went a bit wrong with them, wouldn't it? I think the uh, SG button uh, no longer works. It used to basically press tab for you, which was very cool. And it doesn't do that anymore, I don't think. doesn't change the fact they have the world's most irritating wiper. that pulling off that weren't me
we're running a couple of minutes late it's not too bad we've got a bit of a bit of a wait in uh central anyway is what was said in the blurb wasn't it <laughs> Just because it's quite a fun little scenario to drive, I'm not going to lie. With the weather and the 314 slipping away, it's quite nice. And I think you can pick this route up in the DTG sales for like two quid. I might have missed my hold up outside Central, which should be quite nice. I do quite like coming into central from this side, back of the box. When I was a kid, you'd always try and when the train when we, you were going down this way to head down to Edinburgh, you'd always be looking down this edge of the line, trying to just trying to sneak a peek at what's down there.
Just nearly went to press T to open the doors then. <laughs> no, that's me, just got the road to be fair. Don't want to get the screenshot in. No. Well, it might look quite good with the uh, 320s there as well. I'm in. train to Glasgow Central Oh, it was a nice run, that. Won't be up everybody's street. But for me, there was a bit of nostalgia in that. Pulling centre on a drich day, perfect. Thank you very much for joining for that one guys i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did please feel free to like share and subscribe head over to alantomsonsim.com for all your up-to-date train sim needs and of course this scenario uh, which is available over there uh, on the freeway side uh head over to twitch on a sunday and wednesday night from 7 p.m uh, for some more adult themed pub like entertainment talk about trains and of course head over to the facebook group links in the description below for any other sort of tech support queries or anything like that once again, guys, thanks ever so much. Catch you next time.